This industry is moving so fast. Just before I told you about the new Vario XR4 and I told you that this is an enterprise headset, right? And that sometime in the future, this could come out for us consumers as well. Now, I got a word from Vario that actually directly from the very beginning, they're going to have a list for us consumers where we can put our names into a waiting list to get this headset for us consumers. Wow, this is completely new now. This is a complete new information. And yeah, it changes things a bit. It, it changes my personal excitement level, I must say, for the headset. Yeah, why is that? Well, it has amazing specs, right? We talked about it. It has like 4K displays, dual 4K displays. So every eye has a 4K resolution. And actually, it's a higher resolution than the Apple Vision Pro. We got 20% more pixels here with the XR4. And we have a pass-through Thanks to 20, 220 megapixel cameras, we have a pass-through that has like a human vision, which is so good that in their marketing material, they say that you cannot distinguish it from the real world. So this seems to be pretty amazing. So basically what we have here right now is an Apple Vision Pro for PC VR enthusiasts. So I have no doubt about that the Apple Vision Pro will be an amazing headset, right? I'm looking forward to it. And obviously I'm going to show it here on the channel what you can do with it. But what for sure you cannot do with the Apple Vision Pro is play all of your Steam VR games, right? Your Microsoft Flight Simulator and so on and so forth. And you don't have controllers. So for us PC VR enthusiasts that would love the Apple Vision Pro, right with with the clarity and the amazing pass through we can have it now for pc vr with this with the vario xr4 and wow this brings my excitement to a completely different level you know like before you saw my video where I introduced it and yeah i liked it i thought so i thought it was interesting and i thought that yes this is exactly the right thing for enterprise right and i was hoping for consumer for consumer version but now that actually they're going to have this mailing list there right from the beginning it just shows okay they also understood it they also understood we have something here for us for the pc vr enthusiasts they do want to play microsoft flight simulator with that dual 4k resolution and they do want to have that pass through for the perfect mixed reality where you sit in some kind of cockpit you see the cockpit and you do the things with the cockpit right and then in vr you can see the virtual um yeah the, the virtual world so yes this does bring my excitement level to a whole new level as you can tell as you can see the difference of this video as compared to my original one woo and now you know now it also makes more sense that they have this partnership with Razer, which is a gaming company, right? So yeah, oh yes. So we will be able to play our favorite PC VR games like Half-Life Alyx. Oops, there was the wrong button. <laughs> Half-Life Alyx with this and Microsoft Flight Simulator and all these amazing games. Now we have something like the Apple Vision Pro for us PC VR enthusiasts and it's not even more expensive or it's not even much more expensive. Well, we don't know the euro prices yet for the Apple Vision Pro, right? But the Apple Vision Pro, it is right, 3,500 or something. So yes. And you know what's also different compared to the Apple Vision Pro? Well, I can tell you this here, here, the, the XR4, it has a much bigger FOV. Right, so the Apple Vision Pro FOV is going to be like a normal FOV, right? It's a micro OLED display, but the Apple Vision Pro does not have like an FOV like this one. This has an FOV of 120 horizontally and 105 um, vertically, right? So this is a nice FOV and that's thanks to the not micro OLED display. Obviously, I love OLED and, and it would be great if this had OLED, but I'm okay. I'm also okay with um, the local dimming, 
right? We're going to have great blacks here and we have a big FOV of 120 by 105. Yeah, wow, this is this is good news. And Vario, how how can you just give this information to me like like a couple of hours before you launch the thing? Right? Ah, oh, this is this is crazy. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we also look at some videos of the pass through because I didn't show you those videos in my first video. So, let's have a look of the at the quality of the pass through. Everything that you see now was captured on the XR4. So, what you're looking at is the pass through of the Vario XR4 and uh, yeah, I'm not even sure what what is real. What is virtual here? It's crazy. So this, I believe, is real. It's just some cool rig, right? Or not? Who knows? And now, now check this out. How reality goes away and now you are in that VR world. It, it's, But it also looks so real. And you have this uh, virtual bubble which, which shows you in, in the reflection. It is, it is wild. It is completely wild and... That's where you see that the virtual worlds and the real worlds, they kind of like become indistinguishable. Now I could say the word right, because the resolution of both the capture and the displays is just so high. And here now you see the typical mixed reality application. So what you see in the on the bottom is the reality, right? It's the real cockpit that he's using there. And everything above is virtual. So this is just the perfect use case for mixed reality and I've tried something out like this before with the XR3 and it was mind-boggling. And for the next one here, this is just some kind of warehouse and they just want to show you the quality of the pass-through, just how good it looks. Check this out, captured with Vario XR4 and wow, yeah, think about it. That will that does look a bit different than your pass through of your Quest 3, doesn't it? But yeah, 4,000 euros. But look at that pass through. Oh my goodness. Simply beautiful. Or is it probably virtual we see here? We don't know yet. No, this is actually the pass through. Incredible. Now that looks absolutely fantastic. Wow. So we're going to have the perfect pass through. We're going to have like the highest resolution that we've ever seen in VR. And we all get this for a package that is around the price of the Apple Vision Pro. Obviously, it's expensive, but I'm pretty sure that quite a lot of enthusiasts are going to simply bite the bullet and go for this because this seems to be just an exciting headset, right? We got the inside out tracking, so we don't need the base stations. We have the super high resolution. We have the big FOV. We have the perfect pass through that looks like a human vision. Lots of things coming together here. Lots of things coming together. And we can play all the PC VR games that we love and that we're not going to get on the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, so this might be the first Apple Vision Pro killer, <laughs> even though the Apple Vision Pro is not out yet. What do you say? What are your thoughts now about the XR4? Did this change your perception of it? That actually it is also for consumers? Do let me know in the comment section. And really important, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel here, you should absolutely do it if you're excited about virtual reality, because I am, <laughs> as you can tell. And here you will find out all the latest about the XR4, all the headsets that are coming out, and of course also the Apple Vision Pro. So absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Yes! So go crazy in the comment section, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.